How the Harry Potter cast spends their millions. Hello and welcome back to the Luxury Kingdom. Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Here's how the Harry Potter cast spends their millions. 1. Daniel Radcliffe Ever since he hung up his Harry Potter glasses, he's been working steadily in things like Miracle Workers, Swiss Army Man, and Horns. His career has earned him $110 million. He also has no problem spending it. What Radcliffe loves to spend his money on most is real estate. He purchased not one, not two, but three apartments in New York City. That includes a $5.6 million West Village apartment, a $4.9 million Soho apartment, and one on West 12th Street for $6.2 million. You would think that a movie star like Radcliffe would roll around in a brand new Lambo or a classic Ferrari. Well, think the opposite of that. Funnily enough, as far as cars go, he appears to be clueless. He drives around in a Fiat Grand Punto that only costs around $4,000, and that's if you get a bad deal. The strange things go Radcliffe is as quirky as a celebrity as you think he is. For instance, while everyone values a good night's sleep, not everyone is as prepared to drop big bucks on it as he is when he was 22, he spent $17,000 on a new Savior mattress. Funnily enough, this was still on the cheap side. This brand can go over $100,000. Then there's his love of the arts. This all started when he saw his first art love, Manadi Mary and Me by Jim Hodges. Funnily enough, they weren't going to sell it to him because he wasn't a prestigious collector. The artist, however, was a huge Harry Potter fan and insisted they sell it to him for an undisclosed amount. Radcliffe then famously dropped $2 million on a kaleidoscope painting. The butterfly painting by Damon first caught Radcliffe's eye and became a favorite of his. 2. Emma Watson Emma Watson may have started as the lovable know-it-all Hermione Granger, but she's had quite the career since then. Roles in Beauty and the Beast, Little Women, and The Perks of Being a Wallflower have earned her $85 million. Her purchases are as classy as you'd expect. Her first big purchases with that Harry Potter money included a laptop, a holiday with her dad, and a $30,000 Prius. Since then, she certainly upgraded her rides with a $95,000 armored Cadillac Escalade, a $71,000 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and a $43,000 Audi S3. Then there's her home in the historic Islington section of Greater London. The 2271 square foot home features four bedrooms and two bathrooms. It was purchased in 2016 for an estimated $3.3 million. The home has plenty of history too, as it used to be owned by the writer of 1984, George Orwell. Rumor has it the real reason she picked this home up, psyched unseen, was that it promised to be paparazzi proof. That's how you make a sale to a private movie star. She's well known in the fashion world too, frequently seen wearing designer looks from the likes of Ralph Lauren or Louis Vuitton. Then there's jewelry which she's known to splurge on. That includes a $9,000 pair of Karma E. Khalil pyramid drop earrings and a $12,500 Karma L. Khalil diamond trilogy ring. Beyond that, she's known for activism and donating to charity. This includes donating a million dollars to a hotline for women in trouble. So she's a hero both on and off screen. 3. Rupert Grint Ron Weasley actor Rupert Grint may not have had the same continued success some of his co-stars have had, but he's not too bad off. As of today, he is still reported to be worth $50 million. That number might be a lot higher if he hadn't spent his money like, well, a teenager who just became a millionaire. For starters, he bought a house that puts the borough in shame. His beautiful $7.5 million mansion sits on 22.6 acres of land with enormous gardens and even its lake. The six-bedroom estate features two swimming pools, jacuzzi, a gym, a game room, a floodlit tennis court, and two guest cottages. All things considered, there are worse houses to blow a ton of money on. He bought some weird things, too. One of the most regrettable choices Grant made was to get a hovercraft these water vehicles can go for up to $79,000. Judging from his apparent regret over buying one, I'm betting he didn't get his money's worth. Still, there's one purchase that he's become famous for. Grant may have spent his Weasley fortune on the cutest thing I've ever seen a celebrity throw money at. When he was in the middle of filming the Harry Potter series around the time of Goblet of Fire, Brent fulfilled a childhood ambition. 4. Tom Felton Tom Felton hasn't exactly hit it big after starring as Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter movies. He's had a few minor roles in things like The Flash and Rise of the Planet of the Apes, but not much else of note. Still, his $20 million probably keeps him company while he's waiting for the phone to ring. Unfortunately, when he first got rich as a young man, he immediately started spending money like crazy. It turns out that he has a thing for buying cars for not only himself, but family and friends. 5. Rafe Fiennes what do you think Lord Voldemort spent his $50 million on? Well, prepare to be surprised. Ray Fiennes is a lot closer to the well-dressed spies he portrays in The King's Man or the James Bond series. He's gone into great detail describing the classy things he likes to spend his money on. His favorite thing to buy for himself is handmade shoes from John Loeb that go for $6,500 to $10,000. 
He picks brands like Dwarf Men, where he can pick himself up a $3,100 coat. He's been seen wearing Longan's Conquest Heritage Pink Gold wristwatch that cost him over $10,000. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.